Hey yo there ladies and gentlemen, it's Valen. I would like to welcome you back to Darksiders. Last time. Uh, well, war broke out between heaven, hell, and the kingdoms of man. And upon having our power stripped and killed off by the destroyer, we were brought before the Charred Council and accused of aiding and summoning the demons to the world of man. But... You know, being a horseman of the apocalypse, we only serve the council. Something obviously is going up. But now we are out to prove our intentions are true. That we only serve the council. And to destroy the demons that we supposedly helped summon to this rift. Or to the kingdoms of man. Now we progress forward after acquiring Chaos the Eater. of the dead will be your currency. Some enemies are more easily bought than killed. And yes, um, just like Dark Souls, our currency is, well, souls. No humanity in this game, though. We don't need that. <laughs> souls manifest in three forms. Currency, health, and wrath. And each of those is a resource. Six. His services, but perhaps you can strike a bargain. The council confers oh, with demons now, does it? Since the truce was broken, some demons have fallen from the destroyer's favor. Volgrim is one such outcast. He has long sought an audience with us. How long have I been here? <laughs> Trajectory was a little off. Not so fast, horseman. Let's lay down a few ground rules. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. I say bark, you bark. And if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? Or should I teach you to play dead? Good boy. Ah, uh, yes. He is a character you quickly grow to love to hate. Uh, find the demon Volgrim, and we are at the Seraphim Hotel. I believe Seraphim. Summon the Watcher by pressing and holding the play button, which we are not going to do. Well, let me see, can I acquire them? No. Yes, we can acquire souls now. It's not that many from breaking obstacles, but yeah, you know, double jump here. And, well, are they going to get up? I guess not. Oh, and I drop, drop. Son of a... Batch. Damn it. Well, back up. Double jump. I was expecting these guys to get up, but no. I was wrong. Jump here. Oh, drop that. Drop. Drop warp. Thank you, warp. These people are looking ghoulish, man. Kind of homely, too. The welcome party. Uh, parties. I love parties. War. Why don't you introduce yourself? Now, you can't just decide to hack and cut through these just random ghoul zombies. But there's one better way to take care of them. Grabbing! Grabbing instantly kills them off and you 
sometimes if you get the right animation, you'll kill multiple. And he just... Ugh, don't take that war. There we go. Go break your leg. Break your leg out there. And then don't lose your head. All the casual, you know, puns that everyone's aware of. Smoke you. Break you. <laughs> it's just leg smashing animation. It's the greatest thing ever. Um. Oh, there you are. How you doing, buddy? You know what? And see, it's actually better to grab them because not even a full combo really kills off the ghouls. There. Well, maybe just a full combo, but it's a lot easier to put a one button input and just bomb them. Hey, there we go. That's a real enemy there. Introduction to the suicide bomb. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Navi. We're coming. Gauntlet Glow. War's Gauntlet Glow's near <coughs> interactable objects such as chests or doors. Press B to activate them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take care of that here in a moment. After I get done destroying some pests. There we are. Uh, bye, elevator. What's down there? Uh, nothing. I thought there were benches. Sadness. Uh-oh. And I believe this is the area to go to. Yes. I hate these fellows right here. These have to be one of the most annoying things to fight in the game. And actually, I will show it to you in a moment. Oh shit. Oh no, he's gonna blow up. He's gonna blow up. Back away. Thank you. And actually, I think we lost our buddy though. Yep. We have a much smaller version of it. But it's no longer the food we come to love and admire. Though I have a feeling we'll be getting it back. And actually, let's not waste our time with these guys. They utilize souls and such, but it's not really all that necessary. Dragging objects. War can drag certain freestanding objects found within the environment. Press and hold B. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Oh. Go away! Darn it. Go away! Even though they're just little peons, ghouls' damages do end up adding up. There we are. Oh, hey. Yes, guys. Eh, we don't need the health chest. I normally like to leave behind health chests if you don't absolutely need it because of the fact that they do stay there and you can end up coming back to all of these places in time. So, if you're desperate for health, you can just come back and find it. There we go. And what's over here? Nothing. Alright, scaling the wall. Okay, I almost missed that. That would have been horrible. I fell regardless. Fantastic. Okay. That is pretty much a walk off wall until you normally kill off all the enemies if you don't progress. We're going to work some zombies. Actually, are they zombies or are they ghouls? I never really understood the difference. Maybe they're just the same thing. Because ghouls to me were... Where zombies have the decaying flesh and such, ghouls are always, like, on the verge of just having their flesh melted from decay and defilement. Oh, great. Now it's you. Dodge this guy. Ow, I say that and then I get hit. Ow, yep, I say that and then I get hit. 
Good lord, we're about to die. Thank goodness. <laughs> ah. Yeah, certain things can hit you very hard in this mode. I need to keep remembering I'm not playing the normals. I need to be more cautious. Um, what's over here? Oh yeah, that's where we came from. I'm stupid. And dashing, just like Legend of Zelda. Perf. I prefer find that rolling is better as a form of movement. I know it's debatable. Some people say, oh, Ocarina of Time, um, walking's faster, but then it's like rolling faster. I prefer rolling, but it's, eh, yeah. Though in this game, it's pretty obvious that dash is the much faster alternative. You do that dash will make you move much faster and much farther. Uh, you know what? I want this. I am down a full health bar. There we are. The crossroads. How long was I gone? In Earth years? About a century. Long enough for the last of the mouth breathers to die off. Then... the Third Kingdom is lost. took me seriously. If so, you're surely not empty-handed. Well, this shall be the briefest of introductions. Seek the power behind oh, the one no. called Sorry. Destroyer. You will find the answers and the font of his power there. Oh, such haste to die. You aren't even a shadow of your former self. You wouldn't last a heartbeat. Besides, the way to the tower is shrouded by demon magics. Even I do not know the way. Who does? Feed my hunger. And I'll feed your curiosity. I love that line. I don't know why. I just love it so much. Collect 5,500 souls for Volgrim. But yes, we have been away for... An entire century. Horde Seeker. Hey, deactivate. It, basically, it's the compass. It allows you to see where chests are. And we're not going to bother with you guys. You give pitiful amounts of souls. But yes, I love both. There's, there's just something about him that's fantastic. Ah. Ah. Just throw all these at him. Ow. He did a full health bar. He did a full health bar. Ow! Come on, just please go down. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's right. Pummel him, pummel him, and... Straight down the head. And executions get you souls and health and all those beautiful things that we've come to love and admire. 
right there we cannot go obviously as you can probably guess we need a specific item to tear through those crystals so yeah we cannot make it but we can go around the Uzza Bay still need 300 souls and I'm not bothering with these guys there should be more demons coming up around here in a moment let me see here Nope, apparently not. No, there we are. There they go. These are the ones we were looking for. How you doing, buddy? Blocking. Press right bumper when stationary to block incoming attacks. And, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Damn. Just because there's a bunch of them piled up, we'll go ahead and kill them. Just because. Jump inside here. There should be a chest. Aha, yes. With souls. We're still... Eh. What is it? Over here. There we go. We want you to... No! You weren't supposed to get knocked away, fool. Also, you're invulnerable during the execution or something like that, so... Nice little info to have. Come on. Ow! I didn't see that one. These are the only guys I actually do not want to do aerial combos on because they can hit you regardless of your position. Ow. There we go. We'll execute you just to get the health. I think if you don't execute them, um, you still get souls and health and so on and so forth. But... I believe it's in a lesser quantity. Or you get more of one than the other. Like, if you just continue to pound away at them, you'll get more currency souls than health souls, I believe. I could be wrong about that, though. I've never actually tried. Oh, I might as well. Next thing. Uh, what is it? 29 souls now. Give me 29 souls. And 25. Look at them, they're not even bothering me anymore. They're like, oh god, he's coming for our souls. Actually, how do zombies have souls? Why? Why do you have souls to give me, in general? That's pretty much what makes you a zombie, ain't it? Like, you don't have your soul? Or is that something else? I could be wrong. Knowing me, I'm more than likely wrong. Because I'm Bailey. That. And I'm just going to farm up the last of these souls, and we'll cut right to Volgrim. Oh no, never mind. I forgot there's a chest down here. There we go. This should be just enough for him. Yep, there we go. Volgrim! We got this soul. We have souls yeah, to yeah. feed Volgrim's hunger. Now, maybe <laughs> these Stop stealing his line. gates have a mind of their own. But with this, you may reach an understanding. Beyond the gate, seek out Samael's prison. Once, Samael was close in power to the Dark Prince himself. Some might even say, a threat. You will find he is no friend to the destroyer. Seek me out when you've gathered more souls. I will make it worth your while. Bye, Volgrim. Find the demon Samael. And now I believe we have acquired a new item that will pop up momentarily. Yes! Earth Caller! A masterfully crafted horn whose call awakens ancient gates. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you can also use this. It awakens the gates, but it also knocks enemies back. But only, like, small enemies. So, 
Let's set that up. I believe we already have it set up. Do we? Um, maybe. There we go. There we are. Alright. Oh, okay. I thought I needed to get much closer. The horn call of my ancestors awakened at last from the dreamless sleep. None are free while the Destroyer still breathes. Hmm. The Destroyer, yes. Through his service we are bound, though enemies will remain. So his enemies we call friends. Now, friend, must bring victory, must bring freedom. Yay! We're now friends with the stone people. If that was the gate, I can't wait to find out what's behind it. And we will find out what's behind it, Navi. Well, actually, Navi's not even as knowing as you. You're just... Well, some people like you. I don't know. It's debatable. But we will find out what is beyond the gate next time. We do plan to bring freedom and victory to our stony friends. Look at him just walking off. Going to mind his own business. Somewhere to sleep, I guess. But that will conclude it for today's episode. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a great evening. This has been Valen and Volgrim. See ya.